Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Once again, we are back in Australia because there is an update to the Outback map. Everything will be linked in the description below if you want to check it out. But we are going here from Kuladi, uh, is where we were last time, and we're taking a massive mine train here all the way up to uh, Mayandita. So uh, I think that's how you say it. So we're going all the way there. A new place to check out. I'm excited for it. Back in the Max Superliner. Let's fire it up. I did get a new sound set for this thing. Uh, this one's by Johnny Cash on the workshop, the Steam Workshop, and it works with the Superliner. It's a badass V8 Max sound. I'll fire it up so you can listen. And let's get going, shall we? Put this thing into gear. Happy Monday to everybody. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Oh man, we got a lot of weight. I think it's like 160 tons on this one. I'll have to check and see in a minute. We're just kind of going to get around this real fast here and get out on the road and make sure we got plenty of room here. We got to cross the railroad tracks. I've been really enjoying this map, obviously, hence the reason why we're in here. Um, I still haven't even driven and hauling the big potato out of American Truck Sim yet. We will do that next. So, ooh, man, this is not a really good crossing spot here, is it? No train coming or anything. Oh, man, that is, that is a bumpy one. I do have my motion platform on here today. That is by Next Level Racing. It is the motion platform V3. My rig I use is a next level racing GT track. There we go. Now we're now we're starting to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and just double clutch. Like I said, you know, I'm really bad at floating gears in the outback for some reason. So you get to see some of the asphalt driving today. We're not gonna be too much off-road, which is not normal for us. But with the load that we have here, uh, you'll see why. Uh, we don't want to be taking this much tonnage down a dirt road for that long. Although we're not having a bad problem, and that is because I have a 900-something horsepower engine in this thing. I chose the highest I could go, because we've been burned in the past by... Uh, I've, I've done this on my Twitch streams, and we were just absolutely destroyed by, like, a 500-horsepower engine. It just wasn't enough to pull this. So keep that in mind. I'm going to roll my windows down so you can listen to this engine a little bit more. We got a nice little road train going here. Well, it's a mine train because it is in the mine train configuration. The trailer is by SWR modding. If you go over to Rob's Discord, that makes this map. Everything's linked in the description below there. You can go over there and you can grab the uh, trailers there. They are linked. It's a freeware group that makes them, and they do a pretty damn good job. <laughs> And I was correct, it is 160 tons of stone we're taking to Mayandita uh, Station. And we are going to see the roadhouse, the Kuladi Roadhouse here uh, on the left hand side, put that away. And you know what, we're going to make it a left turn onto the main road up here. So I'm going to go all the way to the right and use all of this dirt we have over here. So I have plenty of room to get around onto the road, otherwise it's going to be a little tight there and it's a 90 degree corner you don't need. But we'll get to see the roadhouse in the daytime, since last time it was kind of early in the morning. We didn't get to see a whole lot, you know. But I hope you guys had a great weekend. We went out and uh, explored a little bit of Port Ritchie up uh, northern uh, Tampa there. Some cool restaurants up there to check out. And I'm going to slow up here. So I'm going to tell you guys something I've been thinking about doing, which I'm probably going to end up doing. We're going to get around the grid here. Mr. House Neck would be very, very proud of us. Okay, let's try not to get killed here. Uh, we need to make sure we don't get hit by a car or a roo, by that means. Nobody come from that way? Okay, cool. What about now? We good? Yep, we're good. Let's just get on out there on the road. There's a car coming, but he can wait, right? Yeah. So we were exploring all that stuff, and I got to thinking, you know, 
I have my motorcycle, and we've had our motorcycles for a while, but we haven't been using them very much anymore. And it really just comes down, there's the roadhouse right there. It comes down to just, it's dangerous down here in Florida to ride your bike, you know? And a lot of the reason why I've been doing a lot of motor vlogs and stuff is because of that reason. It's just crazy, you know? I don't want to die on a motorcycle. <laughs> I mean, no one does, but you know. Get over that. All right, let's get this thing up to speed now. So I think we're gonna end up possibly selling our bikes and getting a boat instead. Now I was thinking, and I wanted to ask you guys, for those of you that might own a boat, you know? I know boats are, you know, a big old hit to throw money into. And I don't want to do it for those reasons, obviously. But I've been thinking about joining a boat club instead, where you just kind of, you know, can rent the boats anytime you want. So if you guys have any insight on that, I would love to hear about it. But I think it's it's more practical for us living down here in Tampa for us to get a, a boat rather than having the motorcycles, you know, that just kind of sit in the garage. We cleaned out the garage and the, the motorcycles are there. Of course, the batteries are dead because I didn't have them on a battery tender because I suck. All right, dude, you're going around us. Go on. Go ahead. Okay. He doesn't want to. I'm trying to make sure that we're not driving off into that dirt over there. It's just kind of hard to tell. I'm going to get this thing up to speed. He can just kind of wait back there. I don't care. It's, it is tight on these roads, man. Watch out for ruse. And this truck here, he's not he's not stopping because I'm in his way. It's because these guys are always trying to go past us. And that really makes the uh, AI freak out. They just start slamming the brakes. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, you know. There we go. Look at this. We're up here in seven low. Doing 65. That, oh, that's 60, yeah, 66 kilometers an hour. Oh man, listen to that. Johnny Cash with the, the Mac V8 sounds, man. They sound really damn good. Yeah, see, these cars are slowing down because of that guy back there is trying to pass me. Not because I'm in their lane or anything like that. So if you were wondering if the AI, if they behave that way on this map, that's, that's the reason for it. People always try to get around a road train, so there's that. So yeah, I think it might be smarter to do that, to get you know, to join a boat club. And what I want to do is I'm going to go take boat education courses because you know me, uh, you know, it's like flights, not flight simulation, but real aviation. You know, I have my, my pilot's license, not current. Um, I do have my pilot's license. I have my motorcycle's license. And I, I've always taken every single thing like that, you know, serious safety wise. And I want to go take some boat education courses because I just don't know a lot about it. And I started looking at YouTube videos and learning the the different signs and what it all, you know, is about. But I think that'd be cool. I think I'd get a lot more enjoyment out of that than my motorcycles. And it's just, I mean, driving down here has just been a real stark reminder of just how dangerous it is. There's so many times I've, I've been in my truck just driving around and I was like, if this would have been a motorcycle, I would, it, was, it would have been different, man. That would have been different because some of these people just don't pay attention and it's not good at all. I'm going to take a screenshot, and I will be right back. And I am back. It is getting bumpy on this road just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let me turn our beacons are turned on. I have those turned off. So that's what I've been up to. And I'd be excited to hear about what uh, you guys had going on this weekend. I've been messing around with my flight simulator, trying to get that all, you know, together. They had that hot fix come out. Look at this, we're in eight low. I think we're gonna get some speed on this one. I really do. So some update five came out and it created some issues for a lot of people, including myself. I was getting crashes to desktop. So the hot fix came out. I haven't installed it yet, I need to. I just kind of, I didn't rage quit, but I just kind of just stopped driving, driving, flying in the sim. I'm driving right now in this sim, but I'm not flying. So that's the reason why that's been still taking some time to get on the channel. Dealing with all of that nonsense. You know what? I think oh, we're going to be going down a hill. We're going to get some speed here. Beautiful. Man, it's really, really nice, this map. I mean, we talk about it every time we drive on it, but it is just true. It's really well done. 
and Rob sent me some screenshots on Discord while he was putting this update together. And he has a like Google Street View of how these trees are all laid out. I'll show this to you on, on the screen here. All the trees are laid out and you can see he was like placing the trees and making it look almost identical to what it really looks like. And those are the kind of things that, you know, I can really, really appreciate the amount of work that he's been putting into this thing. And like I said, you know, three bucks on a Patreon. So you can just, you know, pay the three dollars once and cancel if you want to and get the, the map. You won't get the updates and stuff, but you'll get the map and it'll be working. Or you can, you know, support whatever you want to, but three bucks, man. And if you're from Australia, this is kind of a no brainer. You, get, you gotta get it done. So I know I talked about, I wanted to drive the Kenworth T908 on this particular video, it didn't work out because the RTA Mods Kenworth does not have a right-hand drive option for American Truck Sim. Now it's confusing and I wish that they would change that on their website to try to explain that you can use an Euro Truck Simulator version of the truck, which you have to buy separately, in American Truck Simulator if you want that right-hand drive. Now, I didn't want to do it, so now I think I have to buy the ETS-2 version of that truck. I know we're speeding, but you know what? Now eh, we're out here in the outback, whatever. Let's actually listen to the Jake on this thing. I haven't listened to it yet. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Very unique and different, you know? Let's roll our windows down a little bit here, just kind of crack them. Enjoy the wind coming in from a nice warm day here in Australia. So that's the reason why we're not driving the T908. I wish we could. I even tried to look around on the internet for some uh, non-legit versions of it so I could try to get that working, but it would just crash the desktop. So I emailed him and asked him if I have to buy that other version. I just want a right-hand you know, drive version. And these trucks are very popular in Australia, so having a right-hand drive version would be pretty cool in American Truck Simulator. Just to have it, you know? Let's get back on our side of the road here, Jeff. I need to be scaring people here. And this this thing is boogieing today. I gotta say. I know you can only do, what, 90, 90 kilometers an hour on these roads in the real world. We'll slow it down. We've, been, we've had a little bit of fun. Let's just go ahead and slow it down a little bit. A little bumpy. There we go. And I haven't seen any cops on this particular map. So, I don't think you have to really worry about it, to be perfectly honest. And you can feel that trailer back there kind of swinging back and forth. It's awesome. Very cool indeed. Still haven't gotten to jump into VR and play this yet this map. I really want to. I need to do it. And I can tell you my experience with it. I know he's been wanting to put more kangaroos into the actual map and other livestock. So I think that's going to be really neat. Is that the real? I think it's the real line there on the left. But eventually we're going to get to uh, Charlottesville and that's the next option. So that's the next it's part of the next update that he's working on currently. He's got some more things he wants to tidy up with this, and then Charlottesville's going to happen. But Charlottesville's taking a while because it's going to be a big, massive city. And he doesn't want it to be like, you know, a cookie cutter, like asset copy paste of, you know, uh, like Las Vegas or something in a map. He wants to make sure that it's done custom and it's done right. So that's going to be awesome when we see that. I've noticed these cracks in the road before. I think that's something new. That's new. The signage is new for the new places. And then the little yard stick, or not yard sticks, the little, I don't know, road sticks on the side have been updated and, and accurate. And you saw those earlier when we were in Cool Addy. There's a road there, a road that goes up that way. That's pretty cool. I have seen that one yet. We gotta be getting close though. I know this is a little bit of a drive. We got the grid coming up. Great. I know it's a bit of a drive, but we have been trucking on this for a while. What a beautiful day to be trucking in the Outback, right? 
I think so. Well, here comes the grid. This is gonna be a bump and a half. Mm, it wasn't that bad. Okay. Oh, there's the okay. The shimmy whenever the whenever the trailer went over it, then I felt that. Hats off to this, you know, freeware sound pack for this thing. This sounds great. It sounds better than <laughs> to be honest, better than the uh KI Shadow Walker sounds in this thing. I know our customer wants, you know, they want that stone fast. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying. I think the next, after we do the potato run, we're gonna, you know, come back into this map and we're gonna do a run, like a fuel run or something that has the fuel tankers. I think that'd be a cool one. Yeah, I mean, I can't drive through the truck in front of me. I mean, I could, you know, do 110 and be on his bumper, but there's really no need for that right now. Alright, let's say flood something. Floodways. A little, uh, little creek sign there. Yeah, I see all the little tiny details he puts in this map is just absolutely insane. It's so well done. So, talking more about my gear TSPC Racer. And then I've got my Ferrari rim that I took the, or I took the rim off my Ferrari, Thrustmaster Ferrari wheel. And you have a Rickmo Tech adapter on there, and then an NRG Innovations wooden 18 inch wheel on here everything's always linked in the description if you want to check it all out like i said next level racing gt track by the way there was that giveaway i did uh there was a winner i'm gonna post that on social media here today probably right when this video goes out so big congrats to them i'd have to look it up in fact you know when we get to the end i'll uh, i'll look at my email and i will tell you who won it won the the GT Lite cockpit, which is pretty awesome. So I was happy to hear that. Next Level just got a hold of me it was yesterday and told me that there was the winner. Because the drawing was on the 28th. Boom. I love how close you get to these cars. <laughs> in the screenshot, you'll see I saw in the photo mode, I mean, we got a line of cars behind us. I'm trying to keep up the speed, you know, and, and make them happy, but there's so much you can do. And not to mention, I don't know how it's going to be slowing this, this sucker down. I have my Jake set as high as it goes, and I don't think it's going to slow down very quickly. So we've got to be ready for that. Are we in my Indeed yet? I don't think so. The little turnoffs there. So cool. It's a whole different world driving in a different country, you know? Well, besides Euro Truck. I mean, we've done Euro Truck. I need to get back into Euro Truck. The thing is, is I enjoy doing Euro Truck, but a lot of you guys just prefer America Truck Sim, which, you know, I can't knock you on that. I totally get it. I enjoy it too, man. Yeah, look at those trailers back there. All back and forth, kind of snake in there. I start slowing down here. Well, you can really use your Jake brake with a load like this. This much tonnage. Is that the word tonnage? I guess it would be. I don't know. I think we're now outside of one of the other drops you can do. Oh, yep, we're in uh, Mayfields. That's one of the new places. That's cool, that road there. Yeah, Mayfield Station. We're going to be passing here. So, after Mayfields is uh, Mayandita. So, I think that's how it works, at least. So, Mayfields is one of the new ones, I believe. The new garage. And Mayandita is as well. So, we'll have to see how that goes. Yeah. I had to turn my icons off because I have that mod in there for icons that removes those icons and puts, you know, white paint markers down the ground. The problem is with this map, it doesn't work that way. It hides a lot of it, so you really have no idea where you're going or anything, so I did turn that mod off so we can see what we're doing now, which is wonderful. Okay, dude. I think we're, we're going to be there soon. This truck in front of us, I mean, he's not going that much faster than us, really. Making good time. I don't know why they were bitching about it. 
Our customer wants it now. I get it. A little Jeep there. Oh, another big, big thing. Okay, you know, I told some of you guys on, on the stream, and if you don't go to my streams, it's on twitch.tv slash jfabiano, Tuesdays to Friday in the evening time. We're going to be going, we were going to be going to Hawaii for our wedding anniversary. And we were going to take, we're taking our moms with us. We were going to go to Maui, because I've never been. There's this rail up here. I'm going to slow down for this. This is going to be, slow down, buddy. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Okay, cool. And we were looking at everything. It's super expensive to go, one. Number two, Hawaii does not want us there right now. Like, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but they're they're not wanting tourism. Uh, you know, the COVID restrictions and stuff are pretty brutal still over there. And we would have to get... Do, so, anywho, long story short, we're not going anymore to Maui. We're going to go in... September, the beginning of September, since our wedding anniversary is on October 31st. We wanted to go during a time that was nice in Maui. So this was months ago we were planning this trip. So we're not going anymore. Instead, we're going to be going to the U.S. Virgin Islands, which is great. You don't have to have a passport and stuff. Um, you still have to go through customs, but we're going to be going to St. Thomas and staying five nights or five days in, in uh, St. Thomas with our, our moms. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Going on vacation. And I've never been to the U.S. Virgin Islands. And it makes sense because, you know... Oh, man, look at this parking spot over here on the right. This is so cool. We're seeing a lot today. A lot. You know, another great thing about it is that I'm in Tampa. So that's literally an hour flight to Miami because you have to fly American Airlines. Unless you want to fly Spirit, which I'm not going to fly Spirit. Not for any other reasons than I don't want to be on an airplane that long in spirit. But with American Airlines, you fly into Miami, which is an hour flight, and then you fly out of Miami direct to St. Thomas, and that is two hours and 45 minutes. Not too shabby, considering, you know, you would go from Tampa to Dallas, get on a 777, and then go direct to Hawaii. Or you would go into LAX and then go out to Hawaii, and it would be a long day of, of, of travel. So I don't have to do that anymore, which is wonderful. And that's kind of exciting. I just want to be on, a, on an island, you know, and see something new. See a different culture. Which is the same culture we have. <laughs> because it's the U.S. Virgin Islands. Oh, there's some, there is some differences here and there. But for the most part, it should be a pretty easy, you know, not so much culture shock. I don't know if you've ever traveled before. But when we went to uh, Barcelona, Spain... Barcelona in Catalan. Uh, well, I mean, went up into Catalonia and all that. It was it was culture shock for sure. So I don't think it's gonna be so bad since it's you know the Virgin Islands and it's a U.S. territory. I don't think it'll be bad at all. So if you've been, be sure to you know leave tips. Let me know. It's one thing that's really cool about this community. Is you guys always. Always come in clutch with the information. Man, this has been a pleasant drive. It's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. So I'm really happy we're able to get this thing up to speed. And be okay with it. Because on the map, it, it doesn't look like it's a very long drive at all. But in reality, you know, this being a one to two scale map, it's a lot different. So you can see all the work he's been putting in. I mean, look at the little details, man. Lots of them. All right, let's open this baby up. I'm in eight low. I'm not gonna put it into eight high. I'm gonna keep it in eight low there. Wind this thing out. 102 kilometers an hour with this mine train. <laughs> That's pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good. All right, here we go. Start slowing down. We're turning up here. People crossing up ahead, careful. And you get to see the Mayandita, uh, slow down signage here. The town, which is based on the real one. 
Here it is right there. <laughs> How cool is that? Little circle. Nobody's coming. We're good. There it is right there. Look at that. And we get a little bit of off-roading. Just a little bit today. Not a whole lot. Look at all the traffic behind me. They're so happy. They're like, dude, I'm so glad you're getting off the road. We do not want you anymore on our roadways. Look at that. It's getting it around the corner now. Perfect. Remember, we can spin our tires here, so let's be careful. There they are spinning. Put it into three high here. That's one thing that's awesome about it is the the physics on the map. I don't know. We've talked about this every single time, but for those of you that are new, I don't, I don't expect everybody to see every single video. So if you're wondering more about this auto, you know, this Outback map, he, he has his own custom physics on it for like dirt and sand and rocks and everything else. So you put the map on the very, very top of your mod list and you'll be in business. Okay, we go into fourth gear now. We got another grid coming up. Okay, maybe we can actually get this thing up to speed here without spinning the tires too much. All right, grid. It's gonna be a big one, I think. I always say that and it's just not that bad. Cool. Four high. Look at this, man. This is cool. Put my window's down. Kind of enjoy the scenery here. It's going to be a minute to get to Maya Dita. I'm going to go to five low. Sweet. Now we can go to the outside view and check this thing out. Okay. Well, one thing with this sound set I have noticed is that it has a looping kind of sound to it after a while. So there is that. But hey, you know, it's a free mod, so you can't knock it. The rocks here on the right. Just little details like that, man. It just really makes you, you feel like you're here. Man, that skybox looks amazing today, too. I have no graphics mods, you know. I'm using just default American Truck Simulator version 141, which I'm on the experimental beta, whatever version that is, or the uh, beta is, yeah. I just usually keep my American Truck Sim in beta version, and I don't change it. Oh, check it out. We got Moo Moo's over here by that little pond. That's cool. Hey, Moo Moo's. Yeah, they're just chilling out over there. It's like a farm out here. What do they need all 160 tons of stone for? Hey, I'm not going to ask. They ordered it. They're going to get it. And we'll see where they want us to drop this thing at. Man, look at that. That looks great. Uh-huh. It's like The Sims. Uh-huh. Got to clap. Drop it down into fourth here. Got a trailer out there. A couple trailers, actually. So this is a pickup spot. It might actually be... Oh, it's like you can go in... Yeah, so you can get this garage here, it looks like. And then you also have a little spot you can go to. And that looks like that's for sale. I don't know where we're supposed to actually drop. Let's see here. Up there, I see it up there on the left. Awesome. A little trailer with the flag on it. Put it in the second. I want to kind of just roll in here because, man, this the sand is pretty brutal sometimes. So you got a shop here. You work on it. You got a person hanging out. Daddy. Yep, that's where you can buy the garage there. Got to go over to the left here and see where they want us to drop this thing at. Just getting our, giving ourselves some room here. All right, where do you want this thing, man? 
Let's ask them. Okay, they want it over there on the right hand side. Let's do it. All the way to the side here, which is going to be kind of tough since we had to come bring our truck all the way to the left for now. But we're going to try. We'll see how it goes. Let's give ourselves plenty of room. These, you know, they do. They do follow you pretty good. They're articulated trailers. Yeah, we know. Skip parking. Get out of here. Don't want it. Don't want it. I'm just going to kind of hang out right here and take this all the way down. Hey, it looks like we might have the train right following us perfect here. We might have just nailed that. I don't know. We'll find out soon. All right. Slow down here, man. It's going to be close. That I can tell you. Come on. Do they like it? I don't know. I don't know. Might have to go around again and try again. It has to be perfect, you know? Yeah, I don't think they liked it. We'll try again. Not the end of the world. You just got to be way... You have to give your room a lot more room than uh, we had there. And it wasn't our fault. We had to go over there and, you know, hit that thing. But if I had it set up right... Oh, check this out. <laughs> Literal train. You can see the back of it right there. Should we get around this way? Yeah, I know we skip. We don't want to skip. Shut up. Shit up. We're going to come down here, turn around, and then we'll be in a much better spot for this drop. Go to one high here just so I can have a little extra. Grippy. What if I go around down there? It looks like there's room to do it. To go down and turn around, you know? I think that might be it. Go into second gear here. Let's do that instead. And we can enjoy the scenery. A little farm here. The tractor. Oh, more moo-moos. Uh, one moo-moo. Nope, two. Two moo-moos. That is so cool. Yep, plenty of room back here to turn this thing around. Can't ask for anything better. I sure appreciate all of the support you guys have given. You really have been enjoying these Outback videos, and I, I've been enjoying making them. I just, you know, I've been enjoying trucking out here. Enjoying trucking? Man, it just doesn't sound right. I'm not, I've never been good at speaking, believe it or not. Here we go. We're going to be perfectly lined up now. <laughs> we can't screw it up now. I mean, we could. You know, shut up. I don't want to skip it. I don't want to skip. No. Okay. Come on. Get in line, buddy. I can see the back one there getting lined up perfect right now. So we should be good. This should be gold. The Galden Goose. Slow down, slow down. We're going pretty fast. Stop the engine. Oh, it's green. We did it. Fantastic. And just like that, we are ready to shut it down. Beacons come off. There we are. Let's unload. We got an excellent 91 kilometers, five hours, 51 minutes, 36.8 liters of fuel consumed. And we made a little bit of money there and a lot of XP because I still have that mod in there for that. Pretty cool. I'll show you the mods I'm using right now. Here are all the active mods that I am using. We've got the Australian Outback map, uh, this start XP level money cheat stuff. If you want to see how that all works out, um, be sure to check out my very first video I did on the Outback map. It has all that in detail of how to get started without, you know, having to start over, essentially. Realistic Mirror FOV, that's the Mac E9 V8 by Johnny Cash there on the workshop. Then we have the Engine Sound Pack by Creech Bomb 3.4. That's on the workshop. You just look that up. You can't, can't go wrong. All the Z Mod stuff is all in there from last time, as you can see. And then I've got my... ATS Burn Livestock Trailers. Haven't got to use those yet. We're going to use those soon as they let me level up to use them. Uh, the ones we were using today, the SWR Customs Howard Porter Side Tippers. The Max Superliner we were driving today. I saw that 408 in there, uh, which is now I have the 908. I don't. The, oh, the 408 is pretty much obsolete at this point. And then I can't get the GTM 610 to work at all currently, but maybe that'll change 
in the future. But those are all the mods I'm using and the load order as well. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. I mean, Australian Truck Simulator, right? <laughs> Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you next time. Take care. I often get asked, Jeff, do you have any merch? And the answer is yes. You can check out the link in the description or you can just click right here on this video and it will take you to the merch store. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it, guys.